Joining us today is Susan from Polly's Island Festival of Music and Art. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Good. We're so happy to have you with us well, on Living Local. Thank you for inviting <laughs> me. Yes, so tell us about Polly's Island. Well, the festival is something that we do um, every year. We're in our 31st year this year. Um, it was started years ago by a doctor who moved down to Polly's Island, and he just really wanted to have some wonderful cultural awareness and education for the people who live there, in particular students. And it started out very small. He would have a couple of entertainers in his home, and then it went to churches. And now it's grown into what we have today, which under a performance tent that seats a thousand people. What kind of music? Every genre. Oh. That was his whole um, idea at the beginning is you want to expose people to every type of genre. So it could be jazz, it could be country, it could be pop, it could be R&B, Broadway, you name it. And every year we have a programming committee, we have a board that we answer to every month, and we discuss this programming, we present it to them and we vote on it, and then we reach out to the agents and plan the festival that way. Nice, so the art, tell me about the type of art. Featured. Well, the visual art, proponent of it really is more that, I mean, over the years we've done gallery crawls, we've done um, art walks, um, we've had plein air painting. Um, the last couple of years with COVID and everything, we, did, we have not done as much with the art portion as we have the performance portion, but we incorporate art in like our silent auction. We have a lot of local artists who um, donate their pieces of art for our fundraisers. We have a poster contest every year that can, people compete in and they do original art for our poster that we use throughout the year. So art is incorporated in a lot of different ways. That is great. And so you as the sales and marketing professional within the organization, what's your goal and your focus? Well, I work with the agents, but primarily I work with the entertainers once they get here. I take care of getting them and when they fly in, get them to their accommodations, fixing up the green room. I also work with them if we have outreach, which is a big part of what we do. We take these entertainers into the Georgetown County Schools, into the choral, the band, the orchestra, and we set that all up. So each one of our performers, they do outreach, and that's very important to our mission, and that's what we raise the money for from the festival, is to go back into the Georgetown County School System. Oh, great. So the festival is a fundraiser to equip the school system. We use that, that we are a 501c3, and that is what we raise our funds to do. And so they may need coral binders, they may need um, a drum kit, or they may, we're start, we started a violin program at Sam Pitt Elementary, and it's 20 students with 20 violins and an instructor. We pay the instructor to teach these children violin. So we're giving them opportunities that are no longer available, but perhaps in the school system, or they don't have the funds for. They can come to the Polyzon Festival of Music and Art, they, they write a grant per se or an application and tell us what they need and we vote on it and we try to give them those funds. I love that. This is so creative. Such a great way to give back to the community. Absolutely. So how can our viewers support Polly's Island? Well, the main ray is coming to our fundraisers and we have two a year. We have one in the spring called the Sunday Supper and then we have the Polly's Island Wine and Food Gala, which is the kickoff for the festival. That's like on October 6th and we have a big silent auction. But buying the tickets to come to the shows, not only do we have to pay for those entertainers, but we want to sell enough tickets to pay for those entertainers and to also have money to put back into the funds so that we can use that for the students as well. Um, and you know, it takes a lot to put on an event like that. We have to put up a huge performance tent we, the chairs, the staging, the sound, the lights, um, and it stays up for a month. So, um, and we bring those nine different concerts throughout. It's usually on wow. the weekends, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday of every weekend. Oh, this is great. I can't wait to check out the <laughs> festival. <laughs> I'm getting excited. I know. So volunteers as well? Oh, we have a huge volunteer base of around 100, and we could not do what we do without our volunteers. 